Right now I'm with Patrick McGuinn, filmmaker, and we're going to talk about your film called Soda Pop. Tell me about Soda Pop. Soda Pop is a seven minute short film. It takes place in the Catskills in New York, and it's a sort of sensitive coming of age tale about a young man who meets a Spanish exchange student in his rural town and immediately becomes kind of infatuated and smitten, but he can't express that because the, the young man is staying with his kind of rivals in the town, so there, he has these bullies, these antagonists. And so what he does is sort of befriend the antagonist so he can get closer to the Hispanic exchange student, and then they all drink soda. It's a hot summer period. Mm -hmm. And they're also, um, they learn break dancing. My favorite, I used to break Nin dance, by the way. 1980s break dancing. Yeah, right on, man, 1984 <laughs> was Popping. like. Popping, <laughs> popping. So there's a little bit of the title in the play of the you know, name of the theme of the film, Soda Pop or whatever. But so they're drinking soda, they're popping in the woods, oh. and they're uh, you know, just becoming sort of better friends, but yet there's also a distance there because obviously he can't really acknowledge maybe his queer feelings or whatever, mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it sounds like something a lot of people can identify with, that, that intangible love. Yes, there's definitely an aspect of unrequited love in the film that is really a crossover appeal. I've noticed mm -hmm. it's not just a queer short. This is like a film that people of all ages and sensibilities have experienced in some time in their life, just mm -hmm. wanting to be closer to somebody but not really wanting to cross the line and knowing that there's maybe a future or maybe not, you know? Do you think now that you've made a series of films that it's easier to get seed money for future films? It really depends. I think that time comes when your film makes a few hundred thousand dollars to actually get keep making money. I've, I've been lucky because my production costs are so low mm -hmm. that I'm able to keep making films, you know, uh, and shooting on film because a lot of people are shooting on TV and I think that's totally admirable. Mm -hmm. But I, I really just love the look of film. So I can't, do I. It's, I just can't, you just can't beat it just yet at least. So, do so I. Um, I will continue shooting on film. and. I have managed, like I said, to keep my shooting ratios low, work with really talented cinematographers who get a great look to the film, and, um, and you know, we just keep costs down all, around, well, all the way around, and that just makes me, allows me to continue, even if I haven't yet received what I consider the acknowledgement to get more money to make my films, you know? Well, another thing I thought was interesting about your film... just keep entering like, raffles. Oh, yeah, keep entering <laughs> raffles. No. Lotto might help, too. That, then you can get mega money. Uh -huh. But it, another thing I thought was interesting about your filmmaking career is that you've made features as well, mm -hmm. but you still you can go back to making shorts. Is there a benefit to I, either or? Well, it's I, I put it akin to exercising muscles. It's like if you make a feature and just kind of sit around twiddle your thumbs waiting for the next feature to roll around, you're going to get a little flabby, so to speak. So I just, yeah. I really love just making films and to make a short is really rewarding because it took you know t two years basically to make a feature from start to finish for me wow, yeah. so that's a long time a lot of persevering and waiting for money to come in certain parts of the process but uh, with the short film you know it, it, it just all happens it's a sm smaller version everything just happens quicker you have less demands for certain things so uh, it just happened faster and it's a more rewarding feeling and then of course getting into festivals is a little easier because a short film so they can package it with other shorts and uh, this this film Soda Pop has had an extremely um, just successful run in many festivals mm -hmm. and uh, every everyone who sees it loves it and says it's my best film so awesome. I, I think I'm on a good path at the moment. Thanks for joining us tonight on Video Eye and please be sure to tune in again Monday nights at 10 o'clock so you can hear voices seldom heard in the mass media. Until then, good night.